Don't use the light source. We didn't even go right upstairs. Let's go. Right. We may be down here on our own, guys. So let me just... Is that him there? Ah! So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to Stay Out of the House. Guys, you already know that we play some horrors on this channel, but once every so often, we play a real horror game, if you know what I'm saying. So if you guys are ready, buckle up, and uh, why don't you go ahead and buckle up again, because this is going to be one crazy ride. Here we go. This is going to be something, guys. Stay out of the house. Yep. All the ambience in the back, it really speaks wonders about this game, guys. It's going to be a true horror experience right here right now and we are straight in the game gives us no time to think let's do this well guys this is stay out of the house and if you can't already tell we're trapped inside of a cage in the house we're supposed to stay out of so well we've already messed up ruining it. this is a game heavily inspired by granny and the concept of escaping a house that you were once trapped in i guess we're gonna try and figure out a way to get out of this thing as soon as possible but this is done in a much more realistic horror manner the game is made by puppet combo and these guys have an amazing way of balancing out like a ps S1 style graphic game with true horror elements, guys. I'm really not looking forward to this one, but I'm doing it just for you guys, so freaking support me on this one. Let's get into this anyway. So we've got some dude on the TV. Uh, it looks like it's glitching out, talking about the existence of God and other stuff. We've got a bucket here. What is this used for? How about doing this right now? Because I'm kind of nervous. Is there anything inside the bucket? Hold up. I can't see. It looks so dark in there. Maybe there'll be something just on the outside of the wiring we can use to maybe cut through. I mean, I see this down here. It looks like, oh, it's just a light source. There's a hole. <gasps> Ooh, the killer didn't see that one, did he? So we've been able to now escape out. Let me crouch from the get-go. And we are free, guys, roaming the house. The lighting is very, very dim. You know, we can't see much of anything. There's something glinting just on the top over here. Or maybe it's to open that. So what do we have inside? We have ourselves... A light source, thank goodness. The dude was videoing us? A camcorder. I don't want to be in this movie. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a movie where it ends one way I'm dying in real life. Hold up, so if I open this, can I actually hide inside? I can. There's got to be some ways where we can actually hide, like a closet door. So we open. Oh, and then we go inside and close the door behind us, maybe? I think so, and it shuts up. So what's going from here? I am so nervous already, because I don't know where this killer is or like, how obvious is. If we can what the freak is this room here? We have some kind of mannequin. There's something on the top there. We can open the drawers. So we we'll may be able to find some goods to actually escape this place. No, nope. Nothing in here. Hey, what the freak you looking at? There's loads of drawers to actually open in here, guys. You can see. So we may find a good item somewhere along the line. Just open them from bottom to top. Nothing in those ones. Hello? Ooh, I can read this. You'd think this would get tedious after this long, but it really hasn't. If anything, I'm more excited. At some point, I went from dreading being caught to just accepting that I can't be. Nothing and no one can stop my divine task. The longer it is fed, the closer we come to our true salvation. The fear they feed comes nowhere close to my elation. When I finally prepare them, I do need their fear. It needs the fear. The fear makes us sweet. If they are sweet, it feels worse. Bruh. It must feel all. It must feel all. Oh, okay, look, let me just burn this paper right now, okay? We've got a wood door. We're going to go ahead and open this one. Let's open it this way. Oh, my gosh, dude. So, we've got a tripwire there. There's another door. This one... Guys, I have no idea what's going on. I am so scared right now. Let me open this. Uh, let me close it, too. So, you can hide yes! under the bed, just like in Granny as well, which is good. Oh, man. This sucks. We're going to leave for now. Let me go ahead and close the door somewhat. Okay, here we go. I don't know if that makes noise that he can hear. We've got a rock. That would make like an audible distraction, right? We've got a radiator, nothing useful, just a lamp. Now, we probably need to find a screwdriver in order to take that one off. And that could probably be used as like an escape route. Let's go ahead and open this again. Got I don't like that. Uh, Slay, I think that says something. I don't want to try and trigger this trap because it might kill us instantly. So let's go ahead and try and make our way around this. So that's where the set. Wait, why is it going so quiet? Hold up. I'm going to hide this. This feels too much, guys. I don't know what it is. It's like the PlayStation 1 era of graphics combined with this, like, modern-day horror. It creates a very, very uncomfortable feeling all around. And if you guys aren't feeling it, what the freak is wrong with you? Right, we can exit. Uh, we have a padlock here by the looks of things. Right. Numbers, which I have no idea how to use so far. We've got to continually search this place. So, hold on. Let me go ahead and close this nice and slowly. I don't know if that's audible enough for the guy to hear us or whoever it is already killing us. Let's check around, though. We've got ourselves a paperclip. Okay. Go ahead and open these two here. Nothing in there. Wait, 
on the uh, code in the uh, readme thing just in here, was there something we could use to uh, escape? It says 4262 on the top. Could that be the combination for the lock? That is four digits, and that would get us off to a real nice start. So we want four there. We want to go for a two just in this one here, and two. Yes! You just use your brain and you get... Like a... This is insane, because I don't know how, like, realistic this guy is going to respond to the sounds around him. But that's a chime, though. He's going to be interesting. I can, can I hear? I don't know if I can hear walking, guys, or if it's just paranoia in my brain right now. I think we're okay. So let me go ahead and open that screwdriver. Good. Now, this is good progress straight out the bat, guys. We haven't triggered the uh, trip thing on the floor, and we can straight away get through wherever we got to go to. On the freaking low, dude. I don't know how close this guy is to us right now. Or what is, for example, beyond the door around this corner. Like, you know what? I got an idea. Guys, we'll use this first just to unscrew this here. There you go. Okay. So we go ahead and unscrew all these. And then what I can do after that is check what's behind the door. If I get this done first, then check what's behind the door, I could potentially run back here real quick to maybe avoid him. Okay, that's all far done. So the vent cover should move right now. Okay, moving. Here we go. We're going to place that guy there. So we do have access instantly to a ventilation system. But let me just check back on myself for one second. Okay, screw that door. What about this one here? What door? Open, open. That's where we began. But there's so many doors we haven't even explored yet, guys. I feel like that was kind of the taster. And now this is where things might go a bit bad. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. I can hear some kind of like flies. Uh-oh. That generally signifies some kind of rotten... That's the killer. If Granny had a brother right now, or a son, okay, right there. Look at him. He's about eight foot big, and all he's doing is hacking at me all the time. We've got a vent cover here, but I don't think I can actually take it off, you see? Oh, God. Oh God. He's got a light source, you see? Oh, my God! Does he look through the vent covers? I think he actually does, you know. So what is this way? Oh, it keeps flashing. I don't know what is this way here. Uh... That's our way out. Okay, we've got a second flank route just down here as well. Which one should we go for? You know, is there any right? Probably not. I jumped down. Guys, I jumped down. Oh my god, I didn't mean to. Let me hide. Let me hide straight away. Oh boy. I don't know where I am or how close that other room was where he was like roaming around somewhat. Should I leave or should I wait this one out for eternity until I die? You know what? He does make fairly audible sounds, so i use this. Here we go. I feel like I actually got to be quiet in real life, guys, you know? I uh, don't know how crazy this guy's gonna truly be. Crazy enough to hack bodies in the next room, though, so uh, that gives you a good idea, surely. On the prone, 24-7, all right? We do not- Oh, for God's sake. That ain't a mannequin! Also, was there a tripwire down there? I don't know. There's- no, there's no tripwire. But that, guys, is not a mannequin enjoying a TV, okay? Whoa. Look at this, we're downstairs, so- Will he come and check it out? Oh, my God. Go, go, go. Oh, my God, that is so quiet. That's Bad eyesight. That's why you don't wear a bag over your head in your own home. All right, I'm gonna go back out, guys. Um, we got some ways down here. That door was opened. I don't know where this leads on to. So I'm just gonna be extra careful. What is this? A rock. So that would be another noise distraction in case we see him, I guess, nearby. This looks like just a table full of crap. Yeah, absolute crap. Let's open this wooden door. So this is like another hiding passageway. Wait, hold up. There's something here. Electrical box. Uh, it's, uh, what did I say? It's screwed shut. So we need the screwdriver. Here we go. Take that one out. Okay, so we've got some wires. Uh, need something to cut it. So we need some wire cutters too. On the low, we have a cabinet door. It's locked, so we need a key for that as well. But you see this like audio meter thing? Everything makes some kind of audible noise. I guess that's gonna determine how much he can hear us too. So this feels like the true horror of Granny. There is so much more depth to this one. Maybe we gotta go in here. So yeah, a pile of flesh, hopefully not from humans. Garbage bags. No, God! Wait, he's using his flashlight. That is not good. Uh, I can't hide under the table too, so this is like a dead end. Uh-oh. Put that away! He comes in here, guys. It's a GG. I got nowhere to run. Oh, boy. I was just checking on this too. It smelled good, okay? I came downstairs. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm peeking. He might be going away. Maybe I can open this then, so we've got a cabinet door. Okay, it's held shut by, what was that? Rope. So we need something to cut that. Guys, I can't see where I'm going. Oh my god, it's locked! I'm dying. 
Help me. So what must have happened there is he saw my light source coming from a room, and then he went in and checked it. That's crazy how good the AI for this guy is, you know? Oh, that's, uh, that's not good. Yeah, I got a hammer. Uh, apparently I can't carry any more items, but I don't know if I can throw anything, you know? Like, I really need that thing. I think I heard... Oh, boy. Turn that off. And then we wait again in the corner, because I don't know what else to do other than panic. No, 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 no. Keep the light off. Oh, man. This is like no other game I've played. It's just like you can hear him roaming, and he stops to check around the place. You can tell he's observing his environment. And then we're going to make a plan from there on out. Here it is. But why is that so noisy? You know? So I don't think he knows where I am, but I'm going to place the sound meter in here. And then I think I'm gonna get the hammer. And if we make our way somehow back to the room we was in before, we could use the hammer to try and get down what was blocking that door. I'm just thinking we need the wire cuts because there was that trap on the floor as well. Like all, th all of this will alert him and we cannot get caught by this guy. Now, is he on the upper floor or the lower one? I think, oh, he was on the lower one, now on the upper. And I'm completely exposed with the door wide open. I just gotta hope he goes back downstairs. It must've been the creaking of the door that triggered him right there. Looks like he's gone. So I'm gonna have to make tracks myself. I can go ahead and get this hammer now. It's just a case of, can I use this as a weapon? No, I can't swing it, dang it. Don't use the light source. I didn't even go right upstairs. Let's go. Right. We may be down here on our own, guys. So let me just, put up. is that him there? All right, I'm gonna need some light a second. So that door doesn't have anything blocking it, which uh, I guess is a problem. I'm not sure why I took the hammer in that case, but there's gotta be a bigger reason behind this. I think my only option is back upstairs. Oh boy. Okay, maybe not this time, but soon. Wait, where? Oh my god! Oh boy! Whoa! Let's go! Let's go! Guys, I think I'm dead. Hide, hide, hide! Yeah! I'm... Oh my god, yeah, I'm dead! In a second, get out! I'm dying. We're gonna give this one more shot, okay? Just to look around the house and see what. Okay, we can already hear him hacking away at the meat, but I've also turned off the CRT effect, guys. So I guess we can see this a bit more clearly. You can see him patrolling. Look at that. He straight away goes on the patrol. So it will be at one of the uh, two various ways we can actually duck down here. Let's go. <laughs> This is straight into the main area. Okay, that's one of the vent holes then. Now I know that. But yeah, having the CRT effect off means we can see so much more clearly now. You see this, guys? What are the paper clips for? Call me stupid, but I can't think off the top of my head. It's got to have something to do with, I guess, opening the various locks. Though they are color-coded, so maybe we're looking for, like, color-specific keys. Oh boy, he's close. It's occupied! Get the- Hold that statement. Hold that statement! Oh my god. Dude. Yeah, no one's in here. Just go. Just leave. What is he doing? Now he's just playing with doors. This dude is truly a psychopath. It's like he knows I'm here. But he doesn't know where. Look, here comes the fuzz. That means he's getting closer. Disgusting. He knows. Oh, he thought I was there. But he looked straight past me. Thank goodness. So we've got the bandages in there. Seems like it holds the same location every time, which is good. Um, maybe we can devise like a plan then in that case with this. There are so many rooms up here guys I never got chance to explore. Light on, I need the lights because I can't see nothing. I gotta check around here. There's like, I think that door there may lead onto the- uh, Wait! We're back! So we could get the hammer and use it on the door. Oh my god! Whoa! Get up, get up, go, 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 go. Gotta run! He put that away! Just run! I don't know what I'm doing guys, I'm just triggering everything. Oh my god, again! Run, 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 run! I don't have time to think. I really don't. I can't see what's going on. Oh my god! Okay, run this way. Go upstairs, go upstairs, go upstairs, go, 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 go. Oh my god. How the hell did I get away with that, guys? I don't even know. I got the hammer. I'm just gonna run for this straight away. Okay, we made it. We got across. Now I can see what's behind this door at least. It's gonna take a while, though. You gotta take all of the nails out, I think, every single last one. There's gotta be something big behind this door. They're all coming down. This is three out of four. And the last one to finish this off. Now we have access to this room opening. Okay, here we go. We're in. So this is a new compartment of the building, okay? Let me close the door also behind myself just to be extra safe. There you go. What do we have then in here? I- Are you kidding? If I go ahead and take this, can I take it? Okay, I gotta put something down. Let me put down the uh, hammer. So if I take this, does it have bullets though? Let me try and find him. I feel like I wanna try this out, guys. It's like a final thing we do for this episode, just to see. So, okay, here he comes. Okay, I got the revolver. Here we go. No. Nope. Okay, he's got no bullets. I can't even shoot the thing, guys. I can't get away from the dude, okay? Wait, oh, 
he still saw me. God dang it, I can't even hide. Yep, that's a GG right there again. Okay, guys, I gotta leave this one here. That was hands down the most intense experience I've played in like that granny-esque feel of a game. The graphic style greatly suits the, uh, I guess, environment and just the uh, feel of the game. It really adds to it just not being able to see everything so clearly. It gives that like cloudy vision effect. It's really cool. I mean, I can't believe I'm gonna ask you guys this, but if you do wanna see another episode, just leave a like rating down below and I'll judge based on the amount of likes. But goodness me, this game is crazy. Anyway though, guys, if you did enjoy this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.